What is going on everyone? Welcome back to Van Apocalypse and today working on my 1988 Ford Econoline van. I had a code 51, OBD1 code 51. If you want to know how to extract codes from an OBD1 vehicle, check out the link in the description and I'll try to put a little card here because this is that was the first um, video in this series. This is the second video I'm actually going to change out the ECT sensor, the ECT sensor engine coolant temperature sensor. That is what code 51 says. It's too high. I'm just checking my levels, checking my, uh, checking all my fluids, making sure everything is normal here before I get into changing any big parts, but, uh, everything looks fine. So I'm going to get into this and change out the ECT sensor. Tools you may need for this project include obviously the new ECT sensor, which looks something like this. Here it is in the box at right after I picked it up from AutoZone. Not too expensive. Also might need a flathead, maybe even a Phillips, but most likely a flathead screwdriver to help loosen up the hose clamps so you can remove all those clamps, get the hoses out of the way so you can get to this sensor. You may need a wrench and a socket to help you do the same. I need mostly eight millimeter to help remove some of these hose clamps, um, but it may be different for your vehicle. Just whatever you need to remove any parts to clear the way. But the most important thing you'll need once you get to the ECT sensor is a deep socket and obviously the wrench to go with it, maybe even a breaker bar, depending on how tight that old sensor is screwed in. But I needed a one inch deep socket for this vehicle, 1988 Ford Econoline E150, but it may be different for different vehicles and for different ECT sensors. But for me, I need a one inch deep socket. I need one of the biggest deep sockets I could find. Step one is obviously got to remove this air filter housing, start removing the hoses, start removing all this big stuff here that's in the way so we can get closer to where that ECT sensor will be. Okay, so now with all that removed, you can follow this main radiator hose. You can see there's the distributor with the red cap. I'm gonna follow this hose, goes to the left of the distributor, goes down into the thermostat housing right there. Just above the thermostat housing to the left right here, where this is circled, that is the sensor that I'm gonna be changing. I'll be changing the thermostat in the next video in the third part of this series. Went to AutoZone, picked up the uh, engine temperature sensor so it looks something like this this is the new one here and like uh, i'm gonna also need that one inch deep socket to be able to take the other one out and put this one in okay so here it is right here i had to move remove this hose right above it so i had to loosen the clamp and remove that hose right above the sensor and you might also need to adjust where the uh, the uh, distributor here is to the right. And if so, you need to uh, loosen up the distributor bolt. Don't remove it, just loosen it slightly so you can move the distributor if you need to. Make sure to move it back when your job is done, if you need to. But now that we've gotten this ready to go, I'm just going to have to put this deep socket all around this whole thing and then move it obviously to the left and, and that will loosen up that sensor. So one inch deep socket like this and that should be able to get in there turn it also got the new one right here I was able to get a deep socket around it I'm a big kind of breaker bar here squeezed it in there and I want to turn Let's see there it goes take it out and just redo it until I can get this out I accidentally cracked it or something but it's okay because we're changing it out change the left you turn it to the left got loose here. There it goes. See that? So I didn't mean to crack it. Better be careful with the new one. But let's see. I accidentally cracked it getting it out. I had to use a freaking giant breaker bar because it was in there so tight. But to put it back in, I was going to use a normal wrench and just be very careful not to crack it. I tightened it as much as I could by hand and then with just by hand using the deep socket alone. And now I'm going to go ahead and try to, to tighten it up. Not overly tight, just, just good and firm. Tight. 
don't need to kill it. And then you're just going to plug any electrical connection to this and you have done the job other than just putting everything back put the hoses all back every single hose that was removed and every clamp put it back tighten it up you're good to go put all your hoses back and that's a job well done and hopefully that fixes your code 51 if you had that code hopefully uh, that fixes whatever issue you had with a nice fresh sensor in there you guys have a great day the next video in this series and the final video in this series is going to be changing the thermostat so if you need to change your thermostat in a similar vehicle check that video out as well otherwise hope this video helped out we'll talk to you next time hit that thumbs up and subscribe button i appreciate you